Hello folks, I'm Tagfatch, and today I've got something brand new to show you. If you like this video, do think about giving that subscribe button a click. Otherwise, let's carry on and see what is going on. You'll see here we have editors, which is highlighted and no longer bl uh, blacked out. And we actually have a structure editor and a layout editor. This video is going to very quickly build a structure and then place it on the layout editor to give you a place to start. So we click the layout editor. First thing you want to do uh, is press shift A. It's going to start making you a block. That My handles are a bit big. I'm going to just remove, reduce them a little bit. So the way that the editor will work is that everything we built from these blocks, they can be moved around with the handles and then made bigger and smaller with the internal little square handles. You also change the way in which these things work. Rotate will give you the ability to rotate your constructions. And scale will give you a bit of a different change on both sides instead of moving. So as I say, every single thing is going to be made from these blocks. You just make them the shape that you want them to be. Use the big piece here. And apparently this is concrete. You can see the material here. When you click material, it will change the steel to rock to wood and to glass. And that's what we have. Those are the five construction materials. But everything we built out of these blocks, and then you just make your materials what you want them to be. Let's quickly build a small structure. Let's have some steel girders. Steel doesn't like to be uh, too thin. Glass can uh, be changed in more obvious ways. So then all I'll have is some concrete. Shift A. And get another piece in. Just uh, move it along. Let's just make a I think of some windows. If you are looking at your scale and it's slightly off, you can actually change the grid size here. Which should be allow you to match things up how you want them to be. And so we've now got a little base for our window. Shift A again. Just keeping on making these things into the right locations, changing their sizes until we've got something workable. We want this to be glass, so we're going to click this three times. If you would, rock then glass. I want another copy of this on the other side. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to press Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And now we've doubled up. I also want to move the concrete above the glass. So we're again going to press Control C, then Control V, copy and paste. And now we have ourselves a wall. I think that top one wants to be concrete, not steel. So let's just switch it around. And the bottom one as well. Separating out your uh, materials is actually pretty good for the game. It allows it to have different things to destroy and makes a much better spectacle. So I'm going to copy everything apart from the side here. Just Control C, Control V. We've now actually got a, another copy of this over the top. Don't try and spawn a building like this, it will cause problems. Uh, if you hit rotate Y, that will then allow you to move the entire thing. And we've suddenly got two walls. Now again, we don't want the outer pillars. We want everything on the inside. Control C, Control V. Rotate Y twice and move it over. And we have ourselves a little construction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it. To save it, you need to name it first. So we're just going to call this small build. Save custom. 
And we now have a little custom building made. You can test the destruction if you'd like to by hitting enter or test destruction and then you can uh, build up an explosion, set it going and see what happens. Next we head into the editor hub, go to the layout editor. And here we have a nice blank flat island. Ground editing will come later, currently you can only have the original islands or this one as flat. To get your building into this area, what you need to do is click custom structures which will bring up a load system. There are some other ones that we've done already. We'll start with small build. I will actually load up all of them. Uh, then to place this on the island, you have to hit add structure. And there we've got our little last building. To be able to play this, you need to name the file. So blank last build, and then click save. And then you can head into the sandbox. And then you have a very bare island with our structure on it. Which, if we head into the showcase vehicles, let's just go get the mini dumper. Start her up. And our tiny building can be destroyed by the vehicle. I'm Tag Effect. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial. I hope that it helps you get started in building structures and getting more islands and instruments of destruction.